good morning everyone before I get on the road heading uh, south today I want to show you about one upgrade I made I actually went back into PetSmart and I bought a new enclosed cat litter box picked the color because it kind of matches the uh, RV Jax has not had a dome litter box in quite a while but has nice little discreet steps I don't have to look at litter anymore it can easily be removed it's got a filter in the top be removed and uh, really easy. Um, it's a little bit smaller technically in size from last time, but Jax has been using it all night and used it this morning. So I'm really happy with it. I think my big thing was I was just kind of tired of looking at litter all the time. So we'll give this a shot. It was a cheap upgrade. And if I still want to build a piece of furniture enclosure, we could do that later. What do you think, Jax? All right. Oh yeah. Good. We'll go for a trip. Okay. Let's go for a ride. Oh man. What a nice day. Today is, today's gonna be a good day. Of course, it could also be the one day the ship's closed down for maintenance or something. So awesome. Maybe I've not been making the best route choices as I've been driving lately, as I've kind of been circling back and going through some areas, but I don't know when the next time will be, I'll be in Southern Texas. So I didn't want to try out as much of this area as possible. Uh, now we're back in Corpus Christi area to just go up north a little bit. some good parking for the RV. Now we're going to go on a walk and go check out the USS Lexington, one of the largest aircraft carriers in the world, actually. Funny also, remember when I made that funny comment about, oh, it's probably closed for maintenance or something. Well, they are repainting this uh, fighter jet right here. <laughs> but if that's all they're fixing up right now, I think we lucked out. It's a pretty massive ship over there. Really neat place. I've wanted to visit this place for years, so definitely worth coming back. The Minuteman. That's a gun. Wow. The Blue Ghost. A torpedo. Sweet. It's not a busy day at all mid-January, 70 degrees, perfect day, just a perfect day. Be interesting to see how they do the self-guided tour. I did bring a, another cord and a microphone in case I want to record the audio. Okie dokie, let's go get on the boat and see how much it costs to tour the USS Lexington here in Corpus Christi, Texas. Looks like it's $14.95, the self-guided tour. You want to see an 18-cylinder engine? That is a beast. That's the R2800 Wasp. 18-cylinder. Big guns. Lots, lots of big guns. SBD-3. Man, that yellow just stands out. That is amazing. N3N Yellow Peril. It's only a 25 foot 6 inch. It's the exact same length of my RV from bumper to bumper. 25 foot 6. <laughs> I 
I read a stat one time that said something about this ship had more telephones than many cities back in the time. You know, when telephones were cool. Step out here to the flight deck real quick and just take a look. Oh, wow. Okay, and I guess you gotta imagine this deck is just, you know, filled with aircrafts. I wanna look at a couple of these up close. The aircraft catapult system. Yeah, that's that's some science right there. I've seen enough Top Gun to know how that works. Wow. Look, there's even pilots up in this one. <laughs> hey guys. This yellow beast right here is the T6 SNJ Texan. And the baby blue A4B Skyhawk. Check out the teeth on that guy. Oh yeah. The KA3B Sky Warrior. The five, in five inch 38 caliber gun. I think we can go in this one. Doesn't say I can't. Limited space, four persons at a time. There you go. Whoa. A loading tray. Oh my gosh. Pretty cool to actually be in here. The trainer station. They call this copper the Reaper. That's a good name. The AH-1S Cobra. The T-34C Turbo Mentor. Turbo Mentor. What a name. T-34B Mentor. T-28B Trojan. T-2C Buckeye. an A7B Corsair II. Not quite down on the deck, but I want to go down here real quick. Quad 40s. There's your seat. There's your footrest. Unreal. The Bow 4s. 40 millimeter twin cutaway classroom model. Wow. Quick correction on my statement when I was entering this is, you know, one of the biggest aircraft carriers in the world. Back then in World War II, it was the biggest. It's small compared to aircraft carriers of today. F2 H 2 Banshee. Well, they got the right color with the blue. I like that. I think we all know this is a Blue Angels right here. A Boeing FA 18 Hornet. Awesome. Very cool. TF 4A Phantom 2. There is so much history on this deck, it's just... Man. F9F8T Cougar. Oh, it's a, it's a Jax jet. It's a Cougar. Kitty. <laughs> Wonder how often people got lost on these. Guess you spend your whole life on them, you probably just get used to it. A, the infamous Omega system. Wow. Really? 
where your sailing charts go. The captain's sea cabin. Oh, living it up in style in there. There we go, up on the bridge now. Oh my goodness. Look at these old phones and electronics. Something else. Wow, look at that. Actually, if I can figure out how to walk around this, we can actually go up here a little farther. There's Corpus Christi out there. See, I didn't say Corpus Crispy this time. I don't always do it. <laughs> it's really neat to see this whole ship restored like this. Not restored, but preserved, you know. The voice tube now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Flag bag. The signal flags are kept in a specifically designed stowage locker known as a flag bag. Interesting. And fire guns right off the side. Wow. Uh, try walking down them. You almost have to go backwards. Down into the abyss. All right, now we're going to head to the lower decks, which has the chapel, the crew's galley, the engine room. POW exhibit, scale model gallery, the sick bay, and the dental clinic. This tour is like never ending. I love it. Might just warn you, give yourself several hours because you know, it takes a while to get through here. Oh, it's kind of creepy being here alone. Oh, okay. Well, gotta get your hair cut. Very cool. Wow. Now, wait a minute. I don't think they had Barbasol back in World War II. Maybe they did. I don't, I don't think it looked like that, though. Looking good there, guys. Oh, this is a wall mural by, it's called Lady Lex by Hank Caruso. Pretty neat. Looks like something you'd get like tattooed back in that era. It's really neat. Oh wow, model planes. Oh boy. Maybe the only thing I miss about having more space in a house or something is be able to have collections like this and stuff. Some old uh, brass work on display. Man, these guys know how to live in a tiny house. So their bunk beds are three high, people almost sleeping on the ground. Imagine if one person is snoring. Oh. I bet you just tune it out. Barking space. The word birth was first used in Old England in 1622. It meant a safe room or space. In the U.S. Navy, a birthing department was where the crew members slept. On 19 July 1980, USS Lexington became the first aircraft carrier to receive female enlisted sailors after crew members. I guess we're going down even lower now. Relative motion is required between tool and the work. On board a ship, the man doing this work is known as a machine repairman. Machines, grinders, power hacksaws, drill presses, wow. and other machine tools. The farther and farther I go on this ship, the more it's just it's it's a it's a city in itself. It is literally a city. Slide your tray down. Ooh, sliced pie. Now the kitchen area back there, can you see it? Wow. The vegetable and butcher shop. People like 
Uncle Sam Wilson, mentioned earlier, who won a contract to supply meat during the War of 1812. I just want to walk over here and look at these pictures. The Reagan goes through millions of dollars wow. of food every year. Normally, the ship carries a three-month supply. The dental this is clinic. Right here. Uh, this is my dental right here. This represents a lot of money that does. Uh, yeah, hmm. Well. Doesn't look too uncomfortable. It'd be really cool to have one of those chairs in the RV, though. <laughs> be really comfy. The X-ray room. Doing good work in there, guys. Oh wow. I like the sound effects of the root canal machine going on. I have to admit, this is almost too much to take in in one day. I'm sorry how long this video is, but I, I just want to share it with you guys. I still think you should come check it out for yourself if you get a chance. The engine room exhibit. Yeah, that's where I want to go. Uh, looks like they're doing some construction in here. Oh. We are currently under construction. Okay, well that's okay. I still want to check it out. Wow. As a reminder, you know, this is literally a small city on the water. Oh. Well, that time I was looking for a blue box to drop my mail, and it was right here the whole time in the USS Lexington. Huh? Oh, I see. Now they've brought us back in here where we can look at this room. I was walking along the edge, and I was like, well, can't we go in there? <laughs> I love toy models and stuff. I understand my camera's not going to be able to pick up any of the detail in here, but just another reason why you might want to come look in person. Spend a lot more time. The pharmacy. Looks like they're closed. Another x-ray room. Optical. Wow. Well, that was absolutely fantastic. I hope I can find a way to edit that all together and share it with you. But understand that there were several times in there where they were playing music in the background that would get me in trouble for copyright. So I can't narrate the whole thing. I'll probably figure out a way to change some of the audio so that I can share it with you guys and not get in trouble. So, but still, if you're in the area, check it out pretty cool I'm glad I checked it out all right well I'm gonna boondock here today I'm about 40 miles north of Corpus Christi I'm not even really sure what town this is but I'm going to find a post office here off the road. I'm doing some side street boondocking, which is, you know, one of my favorite things to do if I can't get to a more nature place. And then I'll get back on the road tomorrow. It's not always glamorous, as you can see, but it's it's functional. It's a legal place to park overnight. So go find this post office, drop a few things off in the mail, and I'll see you guys in a couple days. Hey guys, I'm Eric. This is Jax. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up below. 
you want to communicate with us, I'm not a big fan of YouTube comments, so hit me up over on Facebook or I'll give you my direct email in the video description below so you can contact us. I've got lots of other videos you can check out. Also, subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates on the road. And we'll see you again soon.